What's up guys, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack or welcome to the Raggedy Pack if this is your first time checking us out. Tonight, we are reacting to Halloween, the original movie from 1978. This is Blake's first time watching Halloween. I've seen it before. I watched it for the first time two years ago, kind of wish I would have held off now in retrospect, but that's okay. The only reason I'm here is to hold Blake's hand so he doesn't get scared. So, uh, yeah, Blake, how about you tell us what you know about the movie Halloween or about uh, the character that Halloween centers around? I, I just want <clears throat> I just want to say I'm so excited to watch this movie and I love horror movies and I really, really like Halloween, the holiday. All right. Now that I've gotten all the lies out of my system, uh, I know nothing. Um, I have since been told that Michael Daddy is the main character in this film. And how do you know, um, quote unquote, Michael Daddy? I know Michael Daddy because Dead by Daylight, he has left my cheeks swinging the wind <laughs> aplenty. Um, so... My knowledge of Michael Myers as a character uh, began in Modern Warfare 2, where you played Michael Myers in mm. private games. Yep. And then expanded into um, Dead by Daylight, obviously, uh, to where I basically just know like he stalks people, uh, stalks people he's going to kill. Um, and that's really it. Uh, I, I, I have never seen this movie, like Corey said. I haven't. No idea what the plot is. I only know who the killer is, which is Senor Michael. Um, and yeah, I, I, I know it's a cult classic. That's why we're watching it. We're kind of just chugging through cult classics in the month of October. Um, but I got to say, uh, for those of you that have been following along with our horror movies, you already know by now, these are not my thing. And I'm doing it for you guys, so hit that like button, because that's the only chance in hell that I will do this again. So yeah, that's really it. All right, so basically all of your knowledge of Michael Myers stems from video games. 100%. Pretty interesting. So I, I would say there's a lot you have to learn, and oh, I yeah. look forward to you discovering that. It's going to be a great time. Um, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and say now for anyone else watching at this point, uh, this movie, it was originally planned to come out later in this month because I'm assuming we're going to end up dropping it earlier than anticipated because of uh, scheduling things going on within the Raggedy Pack. We have to move things around, different people available at different times, but um. We initially intended to do, I think, four or five movies for October, but seeing how well they're doing, seeing all the comments, people asking us to do more, we are trying to fit in as many as we can this month. So yeah, this is for you guys. This movie got added because people want to see Blake suffer, mm -hmm. and I'm here for that. So mm, I'm sure you are. Yeah. We're... Sure. Um... Yeah, I mean, we'd originally planned for this to be released on Halloween, but like Corey said, things happen. Schedules change. As long as it's released in the month of October, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I think I'm ready to get into this, Corey, unless you have anything else you want to share with me. No, I think I'm good to go. So let's get into Halloween. But before we do, like Blake said before, if you guys enjoy these reactions. If you enjoy seeing them squirm and hide his face, make sure to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to know when we're dropping more movie reactions or reactions in general. Check the description below this video to find a link to our Patreon. You can get the full length reaction to this video there and every other reaction on the channel. We also offer early access to some series up to four weeks. And we have links to our social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and we have a Discord. You can join, come chat with us, talk about scary movies or whatever else and with that being said let's go let's do it oh my god you know that theme huh i know that theme all too well 
That's when you know you're about to die. Yes, sir. Or, or you're about to pull out the nastiest jukes known to mankind. It's nice to know this theme's been terrorizing people since the 70s. Yeah. I think I jumped out the window of that house before. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh dear. We are alone, aren't we? Michael's around someplace. Michael? <laughs> Take off that thing. Who's Michael? <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Okay. What they gonna Boy, do upstairs, bro? We're going upstairs. What the, what they what the dog doing? Gonna play with action figures. Hmm. Okay. Volume was too loud. Yeah. Um, hello? Was there no back door? Guess they left it open. Well, this must be some kind of prankster. We all yeah. know Michael only wears black. Oh, yeah, sure. that was fast. Yeah. It's a minute, man. What, what, what? He just left? Yeah. He's not trying to cuddle. He must have some Dead by Daylight to play. <laughs> okay. Why is the hand so small? It's like a weird first person POV. Oh my god, is she nude? Yeah. I didn't know there was nudity in this movie. I thought it was a family movie. Well. Michael! Wait. Was this real? What do you think? No, I think it's fake. Uh, what are you thinking now? I was halfway right. It is a child. What's the child's name, though? Michael. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I guess she's actually dead. I thought that was kind of anticlimactic. Okay, so it was 63, now it's 78. So that's a 15 year time skip, right? So he's probably like 25, yeah. Some, somewhere around there. Oh my! It didn't scare me. That just hurt my ears. <laughs> Who that? Who's that? You mean you actually never want him to get out? Never, never. Okay, so he did actually kill her. Weird. Since when did they let them wander around? Pull up to the main gate. Shouldn't we put? Oh, I move. No, I would just turn right around, dude. Yeah. That is not good. Shouldn't we go on up to the hospital and wait? What? Dude. I'm not even like what would you do in a horror movie type vibe? Like, oh my god! That is just completely outlandish for this guy to do! <laughs> you just saw the patience! Standing in the field in the middle of the rain, and you don't turn around? <laughs> That's absurd. All right, you don't break car glass that easily. Oh, my lord, have mercy. Playing GTA out here. Yeah, you idiot. He's gone from here. The evil is gone. All right, that guy's an idiot. Is she wearing like real clothes or was she wearing some kind of like Halloween outfit? I think it's like a like a medical asylum. Like a nurse um outfit or something. I'm a big fan of the cinematography and like 
Just this quiet neighborhood. Yeah. I think it looks good, too. I mean, the first person shots are weird, but it's different in a good way. Here's the queen. Scream queen. What? This is the main character from Scream? No. You remember in Scream, they called her the Scream Queen. Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh my god, that's Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah. Let's talk about... You know what Halloween movie we should watch? What's that? Monster House. Oh, Igloo would love that. Classic. Oh my god. Why? Can run down. He said the Myers, so that was. If it wasn't obvious enough. Yes, I am. Obviously, it's Michael Myers. Oh, I wonder if the guy that stole the car was Michael. Hmm. He went back to the house. Okay. It's a haunted house. He said awful stuff happened there once. Mon Elam probably won't get out of the sixth grade. We gotta go. Let's see you tonight. That was foul. Bye. Yeah. Just the two of us. When's he get the mask? Sam Haddonfield is 150 miles away from here. Now, now for God's sakes, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Maybe someone around here gave him lessons. I didn't see a handicapped parking pass on that guy's car. Yeah, I don't think he cared. <laughs> Let's go. He's here. That's so funny. So creepy. Samuel's writing movable like in the car, that's wild. Stands not the pumpkin man. Where's hunting? Apparently he did get car lessons. Good driver. Excellent driver. Maintained this lane on that 90 degree turn. <laughs> Better than most drivers I've seen. Bro, Michael Myers in a car would be OP. <laughs> Thank God they didn't give him that buff in Dead by Daylight. Oh. What happened here? Oh, that's how he must have got his clothes. Yep. So he killed someone already? Whoever works for Phelps Garage. I mean, he has their outfit, so... There it is. He's naked. <laughs> I forgot my chemistry book. So who cares? I always forget my chemistry book and my math book and my English book and my... Let's see, my French book and... Well, who needs books <laughs> anyway? I don't need books. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? I think he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Bruh. <laughs> Let me slow down. Nah, music sped up. Mm, true. What time tonight? I don't oh, know yet. I have to get out of take. No, it's just a different car. Treats for Bob. Funny. It's just everywhere, man. Oh, look. Look where? Behind the bush. Lori, dear. He wants to take you out tonight. He was standing right there. Poor Laurie. Scared another one away. Just waiting for him to pop up behind her. We're in front of her. Excuse me, Laurie. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Ugh. Mr. Brackett. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. You're so funny. Nice seeing you, sir. He's dead. Hmm. It's always a good sign. 
That's a nice breeze coming in. Ah. Ugh. It's ridiculous. Every time I turn the volume up, I just know that I'm. There's a loud sound. Inching closer and closer to a jump scare. Yeah. Just have time. Is that ganja? Yeah. Judith Myers. Myers. Row 18, plot 20. Why do they do it? Goddamn kids. Judith Myers. <laughs> Dun dun dun. He came home. Mr. Riddle was watching you, Lori. Mr. Riddle is 87. <laughs> On the walk. tail. That's probably all he can do. <laughs> that right there is exactly why I've never smoked and I never will. Yep. What happened? Oh, uh, somebody broke into the hardware store. Probably kids. Well, now all they took was some Halloween mask, a uh, rope, and a couple of knives. Who do you think it was? Well, it's hard growing up with a cynical father. I don't know. Aren't you going to be late? Huh? Be anybody. I said, aren't you going to be late? Pardon me, I'm uh, Loomis. Dr. Sam Loomis. Not Lee Brackett. This is so funny. Yeah. Doesn't even know. He's going to look the other way. Yeah. That's hilarious. What are you going to wear to the dance tomorrow night? I didn't know you thought about things like that, Lori. You know, you could ask somebody. Well, I could. Well, you could ask Dick Baxter. <laughs> He'd go out with you. <laughs> I'd rather go out with Ben Tramer. Ben Tramer? Shh. <laughs> I mean, dude is literally tailgating. I didn't see him put his signal on. They've been driving for a minute. Yeah, it's nighttime now. I wonder if he stopped to oh, fuel up. He's gonna pull over and stop right next to them. They're not gonna notice. Yep. 1978 was crazy. Hey, that was a good parking job. Not gonna lie. Gonna give him credit. Yeah. It's time to build up some, some of his special ability, however he does it. He's dressed perfectly, like at the right time. This is like the shack hiding behind the tree meme. This dude's so big. <laughs> what is that? It's a dog. It's a what? Said a dog. It's still warm. Don't show it. Got hungry. Could have been a skunk. Could have. Man wouldn't do that. Oh. This isn't a map. Double don't show it. <laughs> it's like they're gonna spare us. Standing on the lawn, he could have seen inside. Did I get cool. you? Yeah. <laughs> He's been here once tonight. I think he'll come back. I'm gonna wait for him. I have big, big news for you. Mm. Oops. Hold oh, it's on. barking. Lindsay, get this dog out of the kitchen right now. I hate that dog. I'm the only person in the world he doesn't like. So mm. what is this big, big news? What would you say mm. if I told you that you were going to the homecoming dance tomorrow night? I'd probably say you had the wrong number. I can't believe it. I can't tell you anything. What a view. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I couldn't even face it. Lori, that Hold on. Where'd he go? The boogeyman. Tommy, there's nobody outside. After she's been seeing things all day, she doesn't believe him. Sus. Yeah. She's too worried about Ben Tramer. Yeah. Behind the pot plant, dude. Lindsay, I need a rope. What is up with people and getting killed shirtless? <laughs> oh, 
And she didn't have pants on either. There you go. She has a shirt on. Ugh. Oh, crap. Lindsay, Lester's barking again and getting on my nerves again. Oh, my God. Never mind. Guess you found a hot date. I no longer like... I don't want to see it. Uh oh. Don't show me this. Don't show me this. Rest in peace, Lester. You were a good boy. I kind of want... Or, uh, what's her name? I want Annie to die. Yeah. Letting Lester get killed like that. That's just whack. The thing. The boogeyman can only come out on Halloween night, right? Right. While I'm here tonight, I'm not about to let anything happen to you. Yeah, what about yourself? Promise. Promise. What is she doing? Same thing you were doing not long ago. No, still am. <laughs> this could be you. <sighs> so ominous. At least, at least the jump scares haven't been that bad. Hello? Yeah, they uh, toned down on the volume. So did I. Uh, never mind. Guess not. Uh, the suspense must be killing you. I don't have my hands over my eyes, so that's nice. I need to fix that door. Oh, that's so <laughs> gross. All right, hand hands here. Immediately. <laughs> Hello. Stuck, huh? All right, cut it out. It could happen. Them quick Quaker oats in the background. Protein. Yeah, but I've seen you stuck in plenty of other positions. My parents are gone. Oh, that's fabulous. When did they leave? So why don't you just walk over? You come and pick me up. Well, I can't come now. My clothes are in the wash. Well, if I can fix it so you can watch TV with Tommy Doyle, would you like that? Yeah. Well, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like so good at effect. lurking. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, hopefully she dies now. The old Girl Scout comes through again. My pole, I give you all. Why doesn't she just take her car? Keys, or maybe that is her car. She didn't unlock the door. True. Guess it was an oversight. Oh my god. It's foggy in there. Oh! What <laughs> 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 happened to his knife? That answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> Had Did to get a good her throat. I choke in first. Can't really tell. Yeah, I think so. They're just not very uh, gory with it. Stand by to reverse polarity. Standard she deserves it. Yeah, anti-dog. I was about to cover my eyes and then I realized I knew what was about to happen. Bro, imagine if you saw this. <laughs> There's no boogeyman, and if you don't stop all this, I'm gonna have to turn off the TV and send you to bed. Nobody believes me. I believe you, Tommy. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Bull. I'm not. Then go in. It's three stooges. Yep. 
doctor's doing what Michael's doing. Pretty much. Hey, Lonnie, get your ass away from that. <laughs> it's a little more vocal than Michael. Got, got. him for 15 years sitting in a room staring at a wall not seeing the wall looking at this night in humanly patient waiting for some secret I won't lie alarm. if I was sitting there listening to this guy ramble Death has come to your little town, yeah you can I probably wouldn't believe him either you can help me to stop it. Same. more fancy talk first we go inside right then we'll just talk a little and then annie will distract Lindsay. that's when we go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left you got it okay first i rip your clothes off <laughs> don't rip my blouse it's expensive idiot then you rip my clothes off then we rip Lindsay's clothes off yeah i think i got it <laughs> isn't Lindsay the 10 year old uh no i don't i don't think is she yeah <laughs> that was weird that's a bad joke Still in the house. His theme's playing. The camera's panning. I think you're just gonna make out on Michael's watch. Ugh. Dude's just like the horny police. <laughs> Have a good time. We definitely will. <laughs> Bye. Well, they're dead. Michael's not gonna stand Lindsay for that. Is gone for the night. Mm, what, she believe in Boogeyman now? Maybe. She was just crapping in Lindsay and Tommy's cornflakes. Or I guess mostly Tommy's. Smoking. Want a beer? Yeah. Is that all you can say? Yeah. Yeah. Go get me a beer. I thought you were gonna get me one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. My water bottle just popped and scared me. Oh my god. Okay. Don't like this scene. Annie? Oh? Linda, you asshole. For some reason I get like... Okay, Linda. Staring at my... Oh! <laughs> OBS. Helps me. Didn't look like he had a mask on. Strong. Now his mask just looks really good. I've seen this before. And that's happened to me before. You've got impaled with a knife and stuck to a door? And dead by daylight. Oh yeah, he does do that. I I don't think that knife is long enough to actually do that. Like I don't either, but stick him up there. It's the seventies. Yeah, it's a brutal way to go, though. <laughs> the glass is What a dude. troll, dude. Cute, Bob. Real cute. Bob's dead because you didn't want to get him a beer. Yeah, Bob should have just went to sleep after that. He did his part. All right, all right. Come on, where's my beer? Well, can't you answer me? Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Ah, he's hunting. Hello. Oh. Hello. Wow. That sounds suggestive. Bruh. Any of you all right? I'll kill you if this is a joke. Well. <laughs> Breathes into phone. 
Oh, lights are on. Oh, lights are off. Don't tell me she's about to walk over there. Sleep tight, kids. She's gonna walk over there. I can't stand this. <laughs> Still waiting, eh? Yep. Oh. I'm not having a good time. Don't go outside. Please don't do that. She did it. Well, no one's going to be living in that house anymore. One person got murdered in the first house and everybody moved out. Imagine three. Linda? Me no likey. Me no likey. Just got to be wondering okay. where does he show up next? Call the police, bro. Just call the popo. -po. Oh my god. Oh. Why do people like to watch me squirm on it's fun. YouTube? Why is it fun? This isn't fun. It's fun for us. Hmm. They already are. Ugh. You know, this movie's not even that bad. I just don't... It's crazy, man. Oh, God. Oh, who's that, Bob? Yeah, it's Bob. Hanging upside down. It probably seems like a weird Halloween prank. Um, I think she's pretty convinced they're dead. <laughs> I wonder where Michael is. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's wicked. Yeah. Hmm. It's gotta hurt. There's no way he missed that. He had to have done that on purpose. Just to get a, get a good chase in. Yeah, playing with his prey a little bit. He likes to do that. He's a fun guy. You saw him standing in there in the ghost costume. If, he's, if he looks at her long enough, he'll get that one hit ability. Oh, true. Oh, here we go. I know this song. You know that stance, Oh, and she's too. limping like, like she's in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> she needs to heal up. She needs her homies. I was just about to say, how could she not get any door open, but then I saw the rake. He's too prepared. Yeah, you couldn't have done that, like... God, horror movies are crazy. It's like no one has logical sense in these movies. If they had logical sense, then it'd be a very short movie, because they wouldn't be there anymore. What? It's like the middle of the night, someone's on your front porch yelling. Not sure if they're up to something or not. Bro, he's still chasing. Here he comes. Is he gonna get hit by a car? Be hilarious. She's just getting sold. This is what happens when I play solo on Dead by Daylight. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. He's too smart. That window do be open. She do be dead. Well, I know. If she follows the Scream horror movie rules laid out in the episode or the first movie the Scream series, she didn't. Oh. Mm. That sucks. How she got better aim with a sewing needle than he does with a knife. Skill issue. 
Hey, your shots, she kid. Yeah, she didn't have intercourse, so she's safe. He's not dead. No, he's dead, dude. Nah. Isn't there like six of these? Maybe. He's playing. Yeah, that's smart. Hello, Doctor. You're the most useless character in the show. How about you do something? <laughs> Where were you? I went to the Myers house. I Where? found the car. He's here. Where? He's three blocks down. You go around the back of the houses. I'll watch the front. Tommy? Lindsay? <laughs> Babies? Was it the boogeyman? I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you Cat. sure? Uh-huh. Yeah, you see that shadow. Killed him. He can't kill the boogeyman. It's back to hunting. Now lock the door. Yep. Yeah. That bait doesn't work. I know. It's like the worst closet door to hide behind, too. It's got For the real. shutters. It's flimsy as hell. Barely any clothes in there. Real talk, she's such a silly goose for dropping the knife. And she thought she killed him. She's terrible at, like, concealing her position. She's resourceful, though. I'll give her that. What, that just went in his eye? Yeah. There you go. Keep going. Again. Lord. And he's back. And he's dead, bro. No, he's not. He's dead for real this time. Nah. Does that look like an alive man to you? Looks like a man who uh, knows his role in the movie. You think he's just about to hit the Undertaker? Yes. Oh, there goes the knife. Or he's going to reach with his hand, tripper, and... Okay, that theory went away. Don't. Man. Forget them Mommy, kids. Unlock the door. Come here. Yeah. Now just listen to me. Yeah, let's stay up there. I want you to go down the stairs and out the front door. And I want you to go down the street to the McKenzie's house. And I want you to tell them to call the police. And tell them to send them <laughs> over here. Go do as I say. This is giving me a headache. Bomb. Bomb bomb. <laughs> I can't, like. Undertaker theme bruh. starts play. <laughs> oh, your turn. Ooh, unmasked. Nice. Dr. Loomis finally does something. See, this guy knows how to get it done. Finally. Dude, the whole cylinder. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. Yeah, in a way. Oh. Bruh! <laughs> Should have brought the AR and the shotgun. The 12 gauge. And the RPG. Hmm. You know what? What's up? I'll give that movie a round of applause. Why is that? For... I, like, I, I just... I gotta recognize, like, the... The memes with horror movies, I, I just have to accept. Because, like you said, the movie would have been over an hour and a half ago. Um, and the movie's an hour and a half long. 
So I thought like I enjoyed it. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, I think you scared yourself more than like the movie scared you just yeah. anticipating things. I agree. Um, it really wasn't that scary. It was very suspenseful. Um, I don't want to talk about the movie, the other movie that we have recorded right now, because I'm not sure if this is coming out before or after that. Mm -hmm. But I'll just say, for those of you watching, if there's another horror movie released before this that I'm on, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, it's coming next week. But anyway, this movie just did suspense to me way better than that one. Um, and it, it, it really felt like there was payoff to that suspense too. Um, like people actually died. Yeah. And that's something that I like, I always yearn for when I'm watching a horror movie is like, I want like there to be consequences. If we get right. to the end of the movie and the only person that dies is the killer. I'm like, how are you a killer? Uh, let's see. What else did I really like? Um, well, I love Michael Myers. I think yep. he's a fantastic killer as much as he terrifies me in dead by daylight. I, I just, I really enjoy a, a killer that is capable. Like, right. I mean, he's a stalker. So like, that's what he's supposed to do is stalk people and kill people. So I like that. I do. Um, I do think it's funny because at this point, everybody knows we've watched Scream now before this. Um, right. And in that movie, there's the, the character that's like a huge Jamie Lee Curtis fan. And he says, oh, if you have sex in a horror movie, you die. Mm -hmm. Every single character in this movie that went to do anything physical died uh -huh. yeah we're just lucky ben tramer didn't show up it would have been a wrap honestly but i think that's hilarious that yeah uh so, i guess you know this uh -huh. scream came out long after halloween yeah scream came I out in like 96 and yeah. halloween came out in 78 so scream paid homage to halloween not only did it mention jamie lee curtis they were showing the movie on the tv and there was a reference to Halloween, and I, I did notice this, but I saw it in one of our mini comments on Scream that uh, in Scream, I, I think um, the first girl in the movie, I forgot her name, but her parents say like Drew called, Barrymore. Yeah, that's uh, her, her character. Actor. But uh, they say go to the McKenzie's, which they also said in this movie, like the mm. neighbors, the McKenzie's. So there's that, and they show the movie on the TV. And in this movie, um, has the thing in it which i don't think either of us have seen we have gotten some requ requests to watch the thing um mainly on our alien movie reaction i know it's an older movie and i think uh the version of the thing they're watching is like an older version I, I know there's one that came out in 1982 i believe but that, that is pretty cool how like all of the uh horror movies pay respect to each other like that and they're kind of intertwined even though they're in different decades yeah that is cool and kind of gives you a greater appreciation for the genre right that they're all capable of giving each other the same amount of respect even though they're kind of competing with each other in a way um mm -hmm. i i really enjoyed um the well, I didn't enjoy them killing the dog. That makes me mad. Yeah, that was the worst scene of the movie. Um, I really enjoyed uh, all the characters. Um, even though I wanted Annie, I think that's what her name was. Yeah. Uh, even though I wanted her to die, I, I I did really enjoy her. Um, and I really liked. I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Uh, oh, the cinematography, like we mentioned. Yeah, I, I really liked how this just felt to me like how like I've written several papers. I took a lot of film classes in college. I've watched a lot of old movies, but I haven't watched them in a while. It's been four or five years now. Uh -huh. um, 
And this just like, it kind of just like reignited that for me. So I, I, I just really enjoyed um, them bringing that level of cinematography to it. And there wasn't an overload of special effects. There wasn't, you know, it's very, very different kind of horror. Right. But I really liked it. I really did. I don't think I'll ever go out of my way to watch this movie again, just because, again, this is not my speed. <laughs> but um, I'd say behind Scream, this is my favorite movie we've watched um, this month that I've watched. Okay. So. Screams one, this is two. The other movie that you may or may not have seen by now is three. If not, it's coming next week. Yeah, I think this movie does a really good job with um, setting up the characters and building suspense. Just Michael stalking everywhere. Also, the way you kind of drop in in the exposition. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think you were the same way I was. Like you didn't really know what was going on, but uh, you kind of piece it together through the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Okay, that actually is Michael Myers as a kid, which is kind of cool to see his origin story. And yeah. then he murdered his sister. And I think now, that, mm -hmm. I will just say him breaking out of the mental hospital yeah. was the actual dumbest scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You're talking they about pulled the up way, to that uh, place. Dr. Loomis handled it. Yes, they pulled up to that place and Dr. Loomis sees patients standing in a field yeah in the middle of the rain and he's like hmm let me get out of the car and go up to the gate and leave my wife in the car top top two dumbest thing i've ever seen in a movie and i've seen star wars the last jedi <laughs> so yeah that's pretty that dumb was and stupid I was surprised the first time I watched it when Michael hijacks the car and starts driving. Like, dude is a good driver. Whoever taught him, yeah. man, props. I mean, he is an excellent villain. There wasn't a lot that I didn't enjoy in this movie. Like, the dumb moments aside, I'm, I'm sure if you only watch the reaction portion of this movie, you'll probably think I hated it. But that's just me, you know, having to get used to that those things in horror movies where characters just do that. I get that's part of the meme. I, I'm on Twitter. Yeah. I'm not ignorant to it. Like like the older and earlier the um, horror movies are, I think the more likely you are to see those things. You have movies like Scream. They kind of play into it and make fun of it. And then you have other movies newer ones that uh, do things differently to try to subvert your expectations like okay well because of the common tropes you would expect this to happen but no we're actually going to make it happen like this you know what I mean yeah and I think I, I literally already said this but you know if they if they did the, the got rid of the trope of in horror movies you know people do stupid stuff if they just got rid of that and everybody did the right thing all the time yeah the movies would be a lot less a lot shorter and yeah. a lot less entertaining um so yeah i mean i know you've seen this movie how, how is this on your scale i mean i really like it um and i always respect movies like this more just for kind of paving the way where um yeah later horror movies because i'm a fan of the horror genre i'm not <laughs> but yeah it's not really a scary movie to me it's just it's vibes man yeah Act actually uh the reason i watched this movie two years ago is because every halloween or not every halloween but every october i would just be so busy doing other stuff i would let the month pass me by and that's like one of my mm -hmm. favorite months of the year so i think it was like november 1st and I'm like, man, I missed the whole October again. It just flew by. I'm going to watch a classic horror movie that I've never watched. So I watched this movie and I loved it. And I loved it again, watching it again. Um, I just love the atmosphere of the movie, really. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, Scream was more funny. Yeah, this movie, uh, like yeah. it really it's really serious, I would say. 
Yeah. The well, not as serious as the other movie that no. we watched. Um, I think this is like somewhere in the middle. Like the characters are meant to be funny, but the implications of the plot are very serious, and the the uh, consequences are very serious. Yeah. So it's somewhere in between because the characters are goofy. They get themselves killed, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, anyway, that's all I got. Uh, I wouldn't give this movie a 10. Probably give it an eight. It's a good movie. I mean, that's solid. A, that's a pretty solid rating. Yeah, I reserve my 10s for. I don't know, Barbie. I, I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't even rate this movie myself just because I don't feel like I can compare it to like newer movies. It's like in its yeah. own its own tier, really. But um, I, I would agree it is in its own tier. Yeah. Now, Michael is he, he's just iconic, like a classic killer. That's why he's in Dead by Daylight. That's why you know him today. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I haven't seen any of the other Halloween movies except maybe uh, I think it's called Halloween Resurrection or something like that. It has Buster Rhymes in it and Tyra Banks. I know, weird. But um, I I think that's the only one I've seen. And yeah, there are like six or so of them. And uh, I know I was asking other members of the Raggedy Pack, like, has anyone seen Halloween? Literally everyone had seen it, except Blake. Except so Blake. that's why this is a two-person reaction. But uh, maybe if we do end up watching more of the Halloween movies, we can get like... A, another person or two on uh always a fun time you know oh yeah what's, what's the mean, saying like two two is company three's a crowd something party i don't know it's something like that yeah you were close we'll roll yeah with it. yeah but um i mean if you don't have anything else i think we're good to wrap it up i agree all right well if you guys enjoyed that reaction if you enjoyed Blake scaring himself hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date check the description for the patreon once again you can get the full length reaction there we also have early access and we have links to our social media twitter tiktok instagram and a discord you can join come talk about halloween or anything else with that being said see you guys next time